Center for Adaptive Systems of Brain-Body Interactions, or CASB for short, was created as a transdisciplinary center for advanced study at the university in uh, 2019. Um, we have uh, really brought together uh, a broad range of uh, disciplines to work on problems that are very pressing in society and complex problems involving physical health and mental health and individuals in their environment. So at CASB, we deeply believe that some of these complex problems really requires a multidisciplinary perspective. It cannot be solved by any one discipline alone. And so our focus at CASB is to improve the quality of life of individuals and enable all individuals in society to participate meaningfully in their life roles and activities. CASB is that place where people from an engineering department, the School of Social Work, somebody from psychology, all sorts of different departments and schools on campus can actually come together in a, pro in a problem oriented manner and actually try to solve the problem in a way that is appropriate for that problem. The culture of transdisciplinary work uh, at George Mason and beyond is, is really critical. This is the future of our workforce and research uh, challenges that we need to resolve uh, as in higher education and beyond. So this program here is just incredible because students get to work with other students from different programs. The faculty are also from different programs. So they get experience with all this diversity up front, which I think will make them very successful after they graduate. So the students are critical to our um, research environment. We rely on our students for the diversity in thinking and they get from us the education of the exposure to other students and to the professors in different areas. And they go into the world with many more tools. The National Science Foundation has the National Research Traineeship Program, which is their flagship graduate training program. The NRT program at CASB is designed um, around this idea of community-engaged design. So we want graduate students from all over campus, from many different disciplines, to work together uh, alongside our community partners to really understand the problems from the perspective of the community and develop solutions in partnership with the community to address some of these very complicated problems. What sets CASB apart is the community engaged aspect of it and really the outcome metrics that we are thinking about are from our community end users. So the importance of a community engaged STEM workforce is to be able to identify the key problems in society and be able to solve them using the training that you're given. The NRT program impacts several communities in our area. For example, um, we work with community partners who are dealing with uh, addiction or uh, mental health issues or re-entry organizations. And we come back to the lab and in doing this and having the teams work as uh, providing solutions to problems in these communities, we make them multidisciplinary, learn from one another, for example, engineering, uh, community health, social work, psychology, and that is a training that the NRT provides to our graduate students at the same time impacting the community. Students are extremely essential to this NRT program at CASB because at the end of the day, the projects are student-led, student-driven, student-conceptualized. The mentors are there, and these are faculty mentors, professors, and even community members at, you know, at the university, but these projects are done by the students. It's a program that allows graduate students such as myself to uh, get experience in working with community partners. So it's a community-engaged research program, and uh, we work on interdisciplinary teams to basically serve a community partner to come up with a solution for something that, uh, that they need in their field. So, so it's a very uh, specialized, uh, unique program uh, where we work with, with uh, other students in different programs here at George Mason. CASB hopefully will become a more national or international center. We hope to reach out and make impacts, for example, with people with disabilities, um, with any of these community centers. At the same time, leveraging more disciplines than what we have currently. So at CASB, we are very excited that the research and educational efforts are having a meaningful impact in our communities. We are working closely together with our community partners, translating the science in terms of physical health, behavioral health, and environmental factors to meaningful solutions that impact our communities. <laughs>